In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up one button on your Elgato Stream Deck that when pressed will not only shut down and reboot your Elgato Stream Deck software, but will also do the same thing for your Elgato Control Center software. And if you don't use one of these programs, that's okay because I'll show you how to specify this to just do the program that you actually use. But in essence, you will be setting up one Stream Deck button that will do this automatically so that you don't have to open up Task Manager and manually end the processes of these things and then reopen them in case you have any broken links or Stream Deck is not controlling certain things that you've got connected to it. This happens a lot, this happened to me a lot, I'll explain that in the video, but anyway, this video will show you how to set up one button that will do all of this for you automatically. Now to give you a little backstory on why I had to set this up, basically I use the Elgato Stream Deck software with both of my Stream Decks and I also have the Elgato Control Center software. Now the Control Center software actually controls my Elgato key lights and when those things break connection or when Elgato Control Center software is not open, I oftentimes need to reboot it in order to get it to recognize with my Stream Deck because the Stream Deck for some reason will not recognize the control, control Center software and vice versa whenever I'm trying to like open up all my stuff to stream. This usually happens after I put my computers into sleep mode and then I wake them back up the next day, but it's become a big frustration for me. So I want to show you what this looks like on the Stream Deck and how I've kind of set it up. I'm also going to give you guys a script that you can use that will allow you to set up a button on your own Stream Deck and I will give that script to you for free. So watch through this video because I'm going to explain where you can get that script and uh, basically how to utilize it. This is also something that can be customized so that if you don't use the Control Center software or you don't use the Elgato Stream Deck software but you need to automatically shut down and reboot either one of these, you can specify this script to do just the program that you are interested in. So. Let's take a look first at what this looks like on the Stream Deck. So here's my Stream Deck right here, and I've got a little button right here in the bottom left hand corner. Now if I press this button, it will shut down my Elgato Stream Deck software and my Control Center software all in one button. I'm going to show you how this is set up on the software side of things so that you'll know how this works. So here we are on my Stream Deck software right here, and I also have the Elgato Control Center software open. It kind of runs in the background, so there's not a great way to show you that. But if I go to my stream controls right here, you can see the Elgato reboot button that I've set up. Now, when I pr click on this button, this is actually just a system open task, for instance. Uh, so over here on the right hand side, if you scroll down and I've got a bunch of stuff on here, but you look for the system settings or the system options for your stream deck, you'll see this open feature and you'll drag that over to a blank space and it will show you this. And when you're in this blank space, this is where you're gonna set up or make the connection to the file that is going to basically run or the script that's going to run. So if you look at the one that I've already set up, it is linked to an Elgato reboot script batch file, okay? Um, now, before we get into all of this, or what, we've already kind of gotten into all this, but I wanna show you what a batch file looks like on the front side of things. What I've done is I've actually opened up a notepad um, and I've, I've created a, a basically a script in Notepad. And this script is going to automatically close my Stream Deck software, close the Elgato Control Center software. There's gonna be a five second delay between when those programs close, and then it's going to run an open task to open the Stream Deck software and open the Elgato Control Center again. Um, and then once this is all done, it's going to exit out of this entire process so that those things are running but all of the you know command prompts and stuff that, that were run are closed down automatically. Now, um, this Elgato reboot script template is available for free by just pausing this video. You can, you can copy this by hand, but that's kind of annoying. So if you don't wanna copy this by hand, then uh, I've got a place that you can go to download this in our Discord server. Um, and I'll put a link down in the description of this video if you wanna check that out. Go to the Discord server uh, link and you'll join our server and there's a free template over there where you can download both the text file that I'm showing you right now uh, or the notepad file and then also you can download the actual batch script itself. Now I'm going to show you how to create a batch script because if you if yours is not saved to the default location that your Elgato software is saved. So for instance, if you look uh, down here, I've got mine set to the D drive because I've downloaded my Elgato software to my D drive instead of my C drive. But normally 
this is going to be uh, directed towards your C drive. So the download that you will get from my Discord server will actually be set up in the more default way that most of you guys are probably using. But go in here and make sure that wherever you've saved your Elgato Stream Deck and your Elgato Control Center software, this is pointing to the right place. And I want to show you how to, to find out what that location is. So for me, the best way that I figured out how to do it was to um, open up like a, a shortcut, whatever shortcut I use to open up my Stream Deck. And if you right click on the shortcut itself um, and go to more options and then open file location right here, it will actually show you where the file location of that shortcut is, okay? Uh, then you just right click on that shortcut within the file location and hit properties. And this target segment right here, this is actually the target place that this shortcut is pulling from to open your, your Elgato Stream Deck. So this is where I went to um, get the location for my Stream Deck and for my Control Center software. So you just have to do what I just did by right clicking on your shortcuts in order to get to this location. So this is what you're gonna wanna copy. Once you copy this, you're gonna wanna come into this text file that I've already uh, opened over here and paste it between these parentheses and make sure there's only one set of parentheses on both sides of this basically like file location text here. And you wanna do this for both the Stream Deck, and then also the Elgato Control Center software. Make sure that you go to that shortcut and do the exact same process and paste that in here. Um, now, with that being said, once you've done this, in order to, to get a batch file, you're basically gonna go to File, go down to Save As, and then you're gonna wanna name this whatever you wanna name it, but at the end of the name, you wanna type period B-A-T, okay? So you can name this whatever you want, but period B-A-T at the end. The reason why you want to do this is, is because as soon as you hit save, this is going to save this entire script as a batch file, which is what this is right here. And you can see that, uh, you know, I've got it saved as a um, as Elgato reboot script. But over here on the right hand side under type, it says Windows batch file. This is what you want, because when this batch file is double clicked on or opened by Stream Deck, this is basically initiates this entire script to play out and do what we just told it we want it to do, which is reboot both of these programs. When you download this from our Discord server, you are going to want to create your own batch file. Now, like I said, if you've saved your Elgato Stream Deck software to your C drive, the batch file that I include in our Discord and I'm gonna show you our Discord so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is our Discord server, The Flock, and I've got a link, like I said, down in the description of this video for the specific place I'm getting ready to show you how to get to, but I've also got a link for our Discord server in general, so if you wanna join our server, feel free to come over to discord.gg slash flock. Scroll down on this left-hand side after you've gone through all the welcome stuff, and you're gonna to wanna to look for a channel called Free Stuff, and this channel is under the nest category. This is kind of all of our generalized, um, uh, you know, channels. Um, and so you're going to go to the free stuff, click on this, and you'll notice that I've got Elgato Stream Deck Reboot Script. And if you click on the reboot script right here, and this is where we're going to put everything in this server that is free. So graphics and backgrounds and that sort of thing. I just started this channel recently. So this is the only thing in there right now. But if you click on this, you will see the instructions right here. And then down here, you will see the ability to download not only the text file, which is how you're going to create your own batch file, but also I've got the batch file here. And if I expand this, you can see that this is the entire batch file and it shows you what's included in this. And you'll notice that the string or basically the location of this script that's going to run uh, the, the reopen sequence, it's pointing towards the C drive and then program files, Elgato, Stream Deck, and Stream Deck.exe. This is what most of you guys probably already have. So if you just want to download this batch file and try this to see if it works, you can. But I also have the text file up here. You can download this and it's the exact same thing, but you can open it in a notepad document and then do what I just showed you how to do, which is save as and create a batch file. So anyway, you can download both of these. Try this one. This one probably will work for you and it'll save you a little bit of time. But either way, these are both the scripts and you can even copy this right from here if you want to and just save it into your own text file so you don't even have to download it if you don't want to um, but this is where you're going to get it within our discord server and like i said there's a link down in the description now once you've done that once you've saved these files to your computer you have them set up they're directed to the right place and they're ready to rock and roll 
all you're going to do is drag in, like I said, from the system options, you're going to drag in that open feature right over here. You're going to go to app and file and you're going to click on this little piece of paper right here on the right hand side. And you're going to look for where you saved those uh, that that batch file, basically. And so in our case, we're going to go down here and I'm going to go to my Stream Deck scripts and I'm going to select the Elgato reboot script. And when I select that, I'm going to hit open. And now this button right here is going to open that script. And what happens is as soon as you press this button, it opens the script, it runs the script and it reboots your Stream Deck and your Control Center software. So in order to show you how this works, we don't need this one. I'm going to delete it because I've already got it set up down here. I'm going to press this button and show you that it's going to shut down my Stream Deck and then reopen it. So let's do that now. Watch as I hit this button, you'll see Elgato Control Center and Stream Deck disappear. OK. They both have disappeared and now they are reopening. And in just a minute, you will see them open. There's the Stream Deck software and Control Center software have both opened. So uh, it's it's a super easy, simple little solution. If you need to reset your Stream Deck, it's a one button press and you are able to get everything reset and reconnected. And this usually takes care of any problems. So now that we've gone through all that and you know how to set this up, there's one last thing I want to show you, which is how to edit this script to fit your needs. For instance, in my case, I need this script to not only uh, shut down and reopen Stream Deck, but also, like I said, my control center for my lights and whatnot. But let's say you don't need Elgato Control Center to shut down and reopen. Well, you can simply come in here and delete the sections that have to do with the Control Center application. So, for instance, on this notepad, if you were going to edit this for your own needs and you don't need Control Center, you would just come in here and you would delete the Control Center section here where it says Elgato Control Center. You delete that. You would also go in and delete the part where it opens the control center right here. And then you would save this as the batch file like we talked about earlier. And this is all you would use. And uh, in fact, you could probably even play around with deleting the delay between the open and close. But I would go ahead and leave it in there just to make sure it gets all the way closed and then it gets all the way open again. Um, it's about five seconds, so it's not a huge deal. But that's how you would edit this. Um, and, uh, and then that way you wouldn't have to worry about it trying to open a program that doesn't actually exist. So there you have it, guys. I hope this video has been helpful for you in setting up a one button Stream Deck reboot. I think it is an awesome feature. And I got to give a shout out to Nutty here on YouTube because I got the inspiration for this from one of his videos where he had a Stream Deck reboot button as well and used a simple script. But I ended up taking it a step further to do both programs for me because I would have issues with both of them from time to time. So anyway, yeah, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button for me and the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate that. And of course, if you want to know when videos like this go live, hit the notification bell. You can also find me streaming over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. So if you have questions about this or you just want to come hang out with us, we stream over there all the time and we're playing games and having a good time. So swing on by our Twitch stream. Like I said, down in the description, I'll got, I have links for our Discord server as well as a link directly to where the script is in our Discord server. So all that's down below. And on top of that, all the links for my social media accounts, which you can come follow me on and keep up with everything we're doing there. With all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, rock on, peace out, God bless. And last but not least, see, oh, there's a couple guys. Uh, look, oh guys, they're all at 120. There's three guys. Uh, let's let's all take this shot at the same time. I see two. There's there's one. The door area. Okay, you guys. Um, Vendetta, take the one on the far right, and then Alpha, if you can take the one in the middle, I'll take the one on the left. Where are you? Okay. Hosting. Okay, I got the one far right, yep. All right, countdown. Yeah. Everybody get your shots. Three, two, one, fire. My guy, oh, down. Nice, yeah, boys. Perfect. Dude, that okay, was beautiful. Okay, okay, there's another entrance, not this one. This is a hard one. Let's go to the one. So good, dude, so good.